Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I'm going to show you the new Sonoff uh, NS Panel Pro and um, it's not going to be the usual review video because uh, I was asked to only do an unboxing until the 8th of August uh, so I'm just going to do the unboxing I'm going to do some I'm going to talk about some other things that we can see on the uh, on the device and then you know on the box as well and um, son of also released a couple of videos on their facebook page so i think i can mention that one as well because that's also common knowledge so if you remember the anis panel came out about i think it was about a year ago and uh, this was a smart scene wall switch so it was a replacement of a two gang uh, switch which added a screen so it, you can control a few other features, for example, thermostat functions and a couple of other things, or well, a couple of other devices. Um, and I thought that, you know, they, are, they were clearly marketing this as a, as a wall switch replacement. And I thought that many people would, would, would want a screen where, you know, it wouldn't be in the same place as the wall switch. So the, the switch functionality would be, you know, irrelevant. So for them, something which only has a screen kind of makes sense. So this is why they have created the, the NS Panel Pro. But I mean, I can tell you this is a whole different, um, you know, game and then a whole different use case why they have created the NS, uh, the, the Pro version. So I think maybe it's, you know, it could be named something different because uh, I think it's not entirely the same type of features and the functionality what the old NS panel was. And if I do the unpacking, we get there is a small leaflet which only talks about the basics and this is the NS panel Pro and the rest of the thing in the box is just uh, you know mounting screws and that sort of stuff. So if I put it side by side besides the old NS panel you can see that it is uh, my ring light is going to shine into the camera. So you can see that it's the same size and uh, it's sort of the same bezel and the same construction as well. And then right when we flip around, you can tell that it has two screw terminals and nothing else. So it is not going to switch anything. It's not going to switch your lights like the old NS panel did. It's going to do something different. And we have a QR code and then we have a couple of other logos and icons but nothing which is uh, you know really, really interesting you can see that there is a live in and a neutral in so that's going to power the whole thing you can power obviously from 200 to 240 volts so it's a multi-voltage thing and you know when we look at the front panel you obviously see that there is an entire screen there are no buttons so i think the previous one was like three point three and a half inches or 3.2 inches if i remember correctly so this is like probably like a five inch or something like that, but it's a square shape uh, screen. And if you look closely with some of the things that we have on the top, I mean, I can't really tell, but you know, if you see this shine, I think this might be a proximity sensor. So in order to, you know, for the device to tell that you, you, you're approaching the device, so maybe to wake up the screen, or I'm thinking that this might be camera as well, and these could be microphones. I'm not really sure. So this is not clear for me. It's not mentioned anywhere. And um, yeah, so on the NS panel, we see a port for a, a temperature sensor. There is nothing here. We have some vent holes, and I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is vent or you know temperature, but. Uh, yeah, and there is nothing else on the side. Yeah, I mean, well, besides the Sonoff logo, and there is nothing on the top, and there is nothing on the other side. I mean, by the way, I can pop this uh, front panel off, but uh, we will just find a simple pin connector, just like the old NS panel. So there is nothing really interested in that, interesting in that. So I'm not going to do that. So that's how the device looks like. It is certainly a you know a similar look and feel to the to the old NS panel. Uh, which is good because then you can use it with your, you know, M5 uh, switches and, you know, maybe you can use this one as well for some of the functions and you can this one, you can use this for some of the other functions. And if I want to talk a few, well, already common features, I mean, I, all I need to do is just look at the box. 
let me just close it back. So you can see that um, it's going to show the time and the weather. So fairly similar to the to the existing Ganas panel. But you see here an icon, which is a camera. So and that was also featured in one of the sort of uh, videos that uh, you can use this to view a camera feed. So a son of already has two IP cameras, so you can use them to just view a feed, which is nice because you don't need to take out your phone. You click here and then the, uh, the feed loads. And the other thing is you see the shield icon and well, this, um, this is usually for some alarm systems. So I think this pro panel is going to integrate some sort of home security features. And if you flip it around, you can see that it has something which says smart home security and smart lights. So this should be able to control lights as well. Sorry, other son of devices, not with a physical button, but with a screen. And if I flip this around, you can see some uh, smart home control, live camera view, home security. And you see this one built in Zigbee Hub. So this is why I said it's, it's not just a simple NS Panel Pro. This is going to be probably a lot more than that um, because of all the things that are mentioned here. I mean, obviously, if you want to view a live camera feed, you can't do it with an ESP32, which runs this one, and a simple panel which communicates over a serial port. So this is like more like a, you know, a full computer with a full operating system like a small Android tablet which is running inside this really small form factor and also the fact that it has a built-in Zigbee hub means that it has quite a lot of processing power to you know operate a Zigbee network and probably communicate that data over the wireless so uh, to be to acting as a Zigbee gateway as well which is again nice I'm not sure about the price just yet but uh, obviously it's not going to be as cheap as the NS Panel Pro because well, you are getting a lot more features again like probably like a full computer and a zigbee hub and the screen and um, obviously touch interface because you don't have buttons and uh, yeah i'm not even sure about these holes and these ports here up here so whether they are going to be proximity sensor or maybe a small camera yeah who knows probably we are going to find out in a couple of uh, weeks i mean of course i was able to power this on so i know some of the features but uh, even though I was using it for about a week, um, I have seen a new firmware update, I have seen new features coming out just within a week, so probably there is going to be a lot more features coming before this uh, product is released. So that would be my first glimpse or first, you know, quick review of this product or sort of like unboxing of this product. If you are interested in this product, there is going to be a subscription link in the video description that Sonoff has provided, uh, so you can sign up for that. But that will be all. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you in the next video.